and welcome to Maternity and Me. My name is Trishna and today I'll be introducing diabetes in pregnancy and how this may affect you when you go into labour. Labour can be an extremely concerning time for mums to be and if your pregnancy is affected by diabetes, you may have more questions about the delivery of your baby. Your team will work with you to plan the safest time and way of delivering your baby. I hope that this video will provide you with a clearer understanding of why your team may offer you an induction of labour when labour starts if you have diabetes in pregnancy and opt for a vaginal delivery. The most common type of diabetes in pregnancy is gestational diabetes, which affects 1 in 12 pregnancies. In gestational diabetes, high blood sugar levels are picked up during pregnancy. In most women, this tends to go away after giving birth but it may affect your baby before and after delivery. Less common types of diabetes in pregnancy include having type 1 or 2 diabetes before pregnancy. In all types of diabetes, higher levels of sugar in the mother's blood can be passed to the baby, which can mean your baby grows more than in someone without diabetes. If the baby is over 4 kilos, it is referred to as macroosmia, simply big body. And if the baby is simply large for the stage it is in pregnancy, it is called large for gestational age, or LGA. The better you are able to control your blood sugar levels using the treatments your team recommends, such as diet, exercise and medication, then the better the chance is that your baby will grow to the normal size. However, some babies will still grow large, even with good sugar control. With diabetes and pregnancy, it is likely that you will be recommended to give birth in the labour ward, rather than at home or in a birthing centre. This is so that you and your baby can receive the best support during labour and delivery. If you have gestational diabetes, which is controlled with diet, some, but not all, hospitals will offer delivery on the birth centre. It is common when your pregnancy is affected by diabetes that you will be offered induction of labour to increase your chance of an uncomplicated vaginal delivery. The aim? To reduce complications such as stillbirth and a difficult delivery, both of which are more likely, but still uncommon, overall with diabetes in pregnancy. If you have diabetes before pregnancy, this will usually be offered between 37 and 38 weeks. If you have gestational diabetes, this will be offered at or before 40 plus 6 weeks. If you use diet to control the diabetes, at or before 39 weeks if you have taken metformin, and at or before 38 weeks if you have taken insulin. It is worth knowing that an induction of labour doesn't increase your chances of having a caesarean section. The choice about whether you have an induction is yours to make with your team. Before an induction of labour, you might be offered what is known as a membrane sweep. This involves your midwife or doctor sweeping their finger around inside the cervix which can help to start labour on its own. You can have more than one sweep should you choose to do so. If labour hasn't started by the date you have been recommended to have your labour induced, then you will be given a tablet or a gel in the vagina which contains a drug called prostaglandin. This helps to start contractions. In some cases, this can take up to 24 hours and most mothers, especially in their first pregnancy, will also need their waters to be broken. A hormone called oxytocin is used next if your contractions don't start regularly after this. This is given through a drip and is slowly increased to make your contractions strong and regular. Starting labour after being induced can be more painful than if labour were to start naturally and you are more likely to choose to have an epidural and have your doctor assist with the delivery. More on that in our next video. Currently, there aren't any scientifically proven ways to start labour without medication or breaking the waters. But some approaches include castor oil, hot baths, herbal supplements and having sex. 
However, if your waters have broken, you should call your midwife for advice, as you will be offered induction of labour within 24 hours of the waters breaking in most hospitals. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on the new videos which we will be posting. Join us next time when we'll be talking about how you can stay comfortable during labour and the options that you have for the delivery of your baby.